Now, what in the carnival is going on here? I take a little teeny tiny three day break to go travel. I'm in Paris, by the way, supporting some friends and dancing at the biggest break dance competition in the world, Red Bull BC1, having a great time. However, we have some horrific incidences that have taken place on allegedly multiple cruise ships between last week and this weekend alone. Today, we're going to talk about, many of you guys have already heard about it, the horrific incident that took place recently on the Carnival Magic. There's also been talks of allegedly another stabbing taking place on board Royal Caribbean's Allure of the seas and allegedly somebody apparently unalive somebody else on board the carnival sunshine recently by the way if anybody has any additional information or was on those specific sailings please send me an email it is in the description box i greatly appreciate it now let's go ahead and get to the topic at hand recently the carnival magic cruise ship was completing an eight day sailing out of norfolk virginia traveling to new england and canada now this is interesting as far as the incident that occurred because nobody get offended by this when it comes to a sailing that's going up north to places like canada Canada, at least when I worked for Norwegian and we completed those sailings out of New York, we would call that the old person or the boring cruise, meaning there was typically an older crowd going to those colder climates for their vacation, meaning that it was more or less less eventful than if you were going on a cruise out of Miami to the Caribbean. As you can imagine, for these sailings and during this time of year, you have more kids in school, and when it comes to the adults that are in their early 20s and early 30s, well, they are typically going to try to go to a more tropical climate. Thus making a more quiet ambiance for the cruising experience. Nonetheless, there was still an incident that has allegedly taken place. There is now the FBI getting involved in all types of investigations because allegedly inside of the theater on board the cruise ship, in the middle of a production show, there was some type of altercation in which there was a passenger that got mad at another passenger. And at some point in time, it quickly escalated zero to 100 and somebody got hit in the head with a glass cup or a glass bottle. and. Well, it just created a very, very traumatic situation. The conversation that caused this altercation to escalate to the extreme that it did is currently unknown. However, nonetheless, I can be honest with all of you, I have seen a picture or two. There is a, if I can say it on YouTube, there's red stuff on the floor and shattered glass, and it just does not look like a good situation. It's very sad and honestly shocking to see. What we do know so far, according to Carnival Cruise Line themselves, is that the perpetrator was detained in their room for the remainder of the cruise after the incident had occurred. Basically, it's like a makeshift jail in which they can find the criminal, because that's what that person is, into their room. They'll put a security officer in front of the room, ensuring that they don't leave out. And then, of course, they're going to let the law enforcement handle it once the ship arrived back, which was yesterday on Sunday. Carnival Cruise Cruise Line has also put out an official statement highlighting the fact that they have zero tolerance for this kind of behavior. That perpetrator, the criminal, will be banned for life indefinitely with Carnival Cruise Line. They can never sail with them again. And of course, the law enforcement is also going to do their job. I'm assuming they're also going to cooperate with the entire investigation. Looking at all of this as a whole, because there are a couple things that we obviously have to take a look at, no matter what information is currently available, there is going to be a lot of talk going on in the seas. I would say the streets, but obviously we're talking about the ocean here. And well, a lot of people are saying things like, well, Carnival, they need to step up their security to avoid situations like this from happening. On one end, I would agree. However, there are things that can happen literally in an instant. Sorry, this isn't my good hand. I can't snap with this lip. There we go. Good enough. Anyway, there are things that happen at the literally flash of a second, and next thing you know, somebody is hurt or injured, and there could have been potentially nothing that the security could have done about it. Could we also say on the other side that Carnival still needs to be with their security, considering that they have been saying for the past, I want to say what now, nine months since the end of last year, well, it's been more than nine months now, we're talking about a whole year, that Carnival has been saying they're going to step up their security force, and they're going to enforce their policies a lot more, and in my personal opinion, knowing what I've seen as many ships as I sailed on this summer alone, well, uh, they ain't been doing too hot lately. To be clear, I'm not saying that if there were a hundred security officers in the theater at this point in time that this whole altercation and, well, violent act could have been avoided. Potentially, yeah. However, I was not there, but you could assume if an altercation escalated to that point, there was probably a little bit of screaming, yelling, maybe some shoving, and then it got to that point to where, yeah, we have the situation that you see before you. So there is an argument to be made there. However, I'm not going to put the blame on Carnival for this one. I am going to say you are going to see a lot of rowdy people on board cruise ships. 
believe it or not, the brand, as far as like the cruise line, does not matter. There are always going to be probably a rowdy bunch somewhere on every single cruise. I've sailed luxury over to Antarctica, Virgin, MSC, European cruises, and there is always some type of rowdy bunch, whether it be old or young, that is going to potentially cause some issues to some degree, whether it be toward the crew on board or other passengers or what have you. I'm sorry to turn this to me for a second, but I tell you guys all the time, there is a reason why I talk about this kind of cruise etiquette, commentary, reaction type content that I do here. The reason why I speak on this stuff, because you have to understand you are sailing with people that you don't know. There are some people that can be a little weird. There could be people out there that have anger issues. There could be people on there that are going through something. And you telling somebody, hey, to quiet down in the theater or to move out of the way or to watch their drink, what have you, you might just be the straw that breaks the camel's back. You may not necessarily be in the wrong for it. However, you do have to be a little cautious when you're on cruise ships, how you are socializing with people. because it is the equivalent of a small city, meaning you're going to meet a bunch of random people that you've never seen before in your entire life. To be clear, I'm not saying you should bury your head in the sand should an incident arise like you see a passenger berating and yelling at a crew member or what may or may not have happened in this particular case, people disrespecting a show or being in somebody's way or the situation where somebody is just causing a ruckus for no reason. All I'm saying is that there are a lot of people out there that, believe it or not, are not playing with the full deck. So how you approach them and your tone of voice and how you speak to them is going to make all the difference. As the saying goes, if you see something, maybe you should say something. However, this should also harmonize and go together well with Carnival also beefing up security with people and staff members that are very vigilant, observant, and proactive to avoid incidences like the one that occurred here on board the Carnival Magic. Now, it's funny that this happened on the Carnival Magic because if you guys remember last year, this was the ship that they had a 60-man brawl on all over a menage a trois, a threesome for all you people that only speak English. Anywho, I could go on and on about this. However, there may or may not be an update, but I do have, like I said at the beginning of the video, some other topics that definitely need to be covered once I gather some more intel on what exactly took place on board those other ships, out of which being the Carnival Sunshine and Allure of the Seas. Like I said, if you guys have any information on that, please, please reach out to me. My email is in the description box below. I would greatly appreciate any information, pictures, videos that you guys have. And, well, I'm going to get out of here, go take a look at the Eiffel Tower, and I appreciate you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy.